Hi there. So here's a couple of things that you may or may not find useful. So first thing, we start with mathpix.com. Here, the website actually doesn't do much, at least not that I'm familiar with. I have it installed on uh, my desktop. I'm sure it does something here, but on the web page, it's not as full featured as if you download and install the software onto your computer itself. So based on whether you're using a Windows, Mac, or a Linux computer, I would install the relevant portion. Once you have it installed, uh, it'll show up in your tray somewhere here, depending on, again, what kind of computer you're using. For me, it's right here. Um, and then there's a couple of different ways to use it. So open up whatever you want to convert to math type. So let's say I have this demo page or this model solution. If I wanted to convert, say, this line into LaTeX code, I could click on here on this little monitor icon with a plus sign, or you can develop your own keyboard shortcuts. I just use Command-3 because I don't use Command-3 for anything else. So if I type that in or click on that and then select the region that I want to convert, it will do exactly that. Now here, if you want, you can export it as a Word document if you're using Word, but I think the message said Google Docs. So you want to copy this third one down, the one that has $2 signs in it. Uh, actually, I take that back. If you copy this first one, or second one rather, it's actually a bit easier. So copy, just click on it, it essentially copies it. Now if you go to your Google Docs, there's a free extension that you do need to install. It's called Auto LaTeX Equations. If you install this, it will actually read your LaTeX code in here. So you go to Extensions, Auto LaTeX uh, extent, Equations rather. So. Once it starts, it's basically looking in your document for LaTeX code. So here, if you just paste the code that you had from earlier, uh, the one thing you have to be careful of is it needs the $2 signs instead of just one on either end. So put a dollar sign there, put a dollar sign at the end. And if you just click Render Equations, it will actually take the LaTeX code and convert it to the equation or to whatever it is that you're trying to, to get typed out. Now, if you know LaTeX, you can do this directly. So uh, fraction two over x plus three. So if I were to render this, this will render the rational function two over x plus three. So if you know that, it's a lot faster. You don't even need math type, but sometimes it's a lot easier to just sort of write solutions out, uh, then just use math picks to essentially if I wanted to take all of this, instead of having to type it all manually, actually does a pretty fantastic job. And it's got almost full confidence that everything that was copied was correct. Now, again, you want to be sure that after you type it in, that it really is correct or not. But here you would just have to put the dollar signs in front of every equation. So if you know LaTeX, you can just type this in by yourself. Let's see. Oops, what did I do? Dollar, 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 dollar. And I put the cursor back here, render equations. Might take a moment because there's quite a bit of equation crunching that needs to happen. Again, this would go a lot faster in LaTeX, but there it is. So, it's essentially using the code cogs backend to render the equations as images. So you can de-render stuff if you think you made a mistake. Oh, this should be a minus C. You can go to the start of the equation, like put your cursor right before it, and then click de-render equation. So it would change it back to the code. You can change this to a minus, even though I know that that doesn't make any sense, and then render the equation again. So it's not like, oh, once you have the image, then you can't go back and change anything. You can just place, place the cursor anywhere before the equation, de-render that equation, modify it, and then render it again. So hopefully that helps. I, I guess, again, the, the bottom line is, if you know LaTeX, you can just type it in manually here. That being said, if you know LaTeX, chances are you're not doing that in Google Docs because it's a lot clunkier. Chances are you're just typing it up in, in some sort of LaTeX editor. But hopefully this helps uh, on, on how I'm actually using MathPix. Um, I just use, I just copy this code that I get from here into LaTeX, uh, into 
tech maker or some other IDE that I'm using. But if you're using Google Docs, you should be able to do this here as well. Hopefully this helps. If you have any other questions, feel free to shoot me a message.